For every All Might, there is an Endeavor. For every Bakugo, there is a Deku. And for every Class 1A, there's a Class 1B. However, as powerful and unique the latter is, for some strange reason we've seen little to nothing about what seems to be the forgotten child of UA. But luckily for us, and for Monoma Sanity, Class 1B are finally getting the attention they deserve in the coming arc of the My Hero anime, as they face off against their beloved spotlight stealing rivals, Class 1A. But who exactly are these trainee heroes, and why should we be interested in what their battle against 1A will bring? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to explain in this video, as I break down who each member of this mysterious class class is, what quirks they possess, and a bit more about each of their personalities, traits, and backstories. But before I begin, I'm going to give you a quick reminder to hit that subscribe button and bell icon to keep up to date with all of the new, amazing content the Lunchtime crew is producing. Now, let's dive right into the ever-glorious class, 1B. Kicking off this list, we're going to begin with the person who takes seat number one in class 1B, Yosetsu Awase. Hero name, Welder. Now for those of you with a keen memory, Yosetsu may not be that unfamiliar, as we have in fact already been introduced to his character and his ability. During the events of the villain's attack on the training camp, Yosetsu bravely carried Momo Yayorozu away from the Chainsaw Nomu, saving her life. Not only this, he also used his quirk Weld, which grants him the ability to fuse two objects he's touching together at an atomic level, to stick Momo's tracking beacon onto the Nomu, which led Deku and the others to the Nomu facility during their search for Bakugo. So without Yosetsu, Class 1A would have never gotten as far as they did. Let's not tell Monoma that. As for his personality, Yosetsu isn't as talkative as some of his fellow classmates. Although, it is noted that when he does talk, it is more often than not foul-mouthed and tense. That is unless he is put into a serious or life or death situation, in which he understandably becomes easily startled and far more talkative. Yosetsu is said to be very proud of his quirk and his abilities, with him placing tent overall in the UA entrance exam. He is also noted for being a very selfless person, as can be seen when he refused to let Momo go while they were being chased, and even chose to put himself in front of the Nomu's blade when they were both caught. Although, this is isn't really a surprise, as according to the Ultra Analysis Handbook, Yosetsu actually has a crush on Momo. Let the ship set sail, folks! Next up, we have the Spinning Sen Kaibara. Hero name, Spiral. Compared to the rest of Class 1B and the cast of the series, Sen seems to be the most ordinary looking character, with his dark brown hair and brown eyes. But funnily enough, despite any real defining features, he is still considered very good looking in the My Hero world. I mean, that's an amazing compliment when you got hot stuff like hogs walking around. God. Damn, look at him. Sen is noted for having a very serious personality, but he is also considered very mature, often choosing to just go with the flow with his fellow classmates. However, more often than not, this ends up with Sen getting caught up in their crazy antics. As for his quirk, it's called Gyrate, and it allows Sen to make any part of his body rotate with the speed and velocity of a human-sized drill. Fun fact, Horikoshi himself has noted that he actually loves drawing Sen and his quirk, and plans on bringing him back in the future. Sen stands rise up. After Sen, we have Mr. Praying Mantis himself, Toguru Kamakiri. Hero name, Jack Mantis. While Sen is the most normal looking person in Class 1B, Toguru looks far from ordinary, with his green hair, skin and eyes, and his bug-like face. Talk about being unlucky in the gene pool. Toguru is considered the Bakugo of Class 1B. He is hot-tempered, aggressive, and always ready to fight. However, unlike his Class 1A counterpart, Toguru seems to have some restraint when it comes to letting his emotions out. Due to their similar personalities, temperament, and love of fighting, Toguru Toguru views Bakugo as his personal rival, a rivalry that is almost certainly one-sided. Poor Mantis boy. Toguru's quirk is called Razor Sharp, and it allows its user to produce blades from any part of their body that are strong enough to cut through steel or iron piping. But unfortunately for Toguru, they are not sharp enough to cut into his so-called rival's heart. Next up on our list is the mysterious Shihai Kuroiro. Hero name, Scheming Hero, Vanta Black. Shihai is easily recognizable due to his pitch black skin, which came about due to his quirk, Black. I kid you not, the name of this quirk is literally just Black. 
The quirk black allows its user to merge their body into anything that is dark colored, whether it's naturally dark or dark via external circumstances, such as a lack of light. This ability also does not take mass into account, allowing the user to merge and move freely through objects of any size. They could have just named it Phantom or Dark Possession, but no, they had to go with just black. Oh, hey, Dave, what's your power? Oh, hey there, Mr. Lunchtime. My power's purple. What the fuck? Shihai is very similar in personality to Tokoyami of Class 1A. They both enjoy dark concepts, they both have a strong habit of speaking dramatically, and they both chose hero names containing the word black. As a result of these similarities, Shihai has formed a kinship with his Class 1A counterpart. However, Shihai suffers one of the biggest weaknesses of any shy adolescent. He struggles to talk with girls. Shihai himself also seems to have a crush on his fellow classmate Kinoko Komori, and because of this, he is unable to look her in the eye and stammers any time he tries to talk to her. So basically, he's just a nervous emo kid who can't talk to girls. Next up, we have the big sister and class representative of Class 1B, Itsuka Kendo. Hero name, Battle Fist. Now you probably already know who Kendo is, with her being the famous Slayer of Monoma, and with her and her fellow classmate Tetsu Tetsu taking down the villain Mustard during the villain's attack on the training camp. Kendo is the glue that holds Class 1B together, which is saying a lot considering there is literally a person in the class that makes glue, but we will get to him later. Kendo is thoughtful of those around her and is willing to help anyone even if it provides no benefit to herself, such as when she told Class 1A what was originally planned for the practical exam despite it being somewhat against the rules, and when she let two of her classmates participate in the sports festival tournament in place of her. However, she she is not afraid to lay down the law as she openly criticizes her fellow classmates if she feels what they are doing is not right. The prime example of this is her entire relationship with Monoma. <laughs> but Kendo isn't all just looks and personality, as she is also very tactical and powerful thanks to both her keen intellect and her quirk Big Fist, which grants her the ability to enlarge her hands up to three times the size of her body, exponentially increasing their strength. Now I know this power sounds kinda stupid in comparison to a lot of other quirks, but I don't think that people understand that once her hands have expanded, Kendo has enough power to easily rip through tungsten, one of the strongest metals on the planet. Like, this isn't just a small increase in power, she becomes a beast. This also explains how she placed fifth overall in the UA entrance exam. Coming in after Kendo, we have the straight-faced Yui Kodai. Hero name, Rule. Yui is an extremely quiet person that rarely expresses any emotions whatsoever, resulting in some of her classmates believing that she is actually unable to feel emotions in the first place. Despite this demeanor, however, she has shown that she does care about her classmates looking after two of them after they were affected by Mustard's poisonous gas during the training camp. Yui's quirk is called Size, and it grants her the ability to alter the size of any non-living object she has made contact with. Similarly to Ochaka Uraka of Class 1A's Zero Gravity quirk, this quirk is activated when Yui touches her fingertips together, which, funnily enough, isn't the only similarity Yui and Ochako share, as Yui's design is based heavily on Uraraka's prototype appearance, which might explain why these two characters may look a bit similar. New best girl potential? Next is the fun guy phenom, Kinoko Komori. Hero name? Shime. Kinoko was initially very shy coming into UA, hiding her face behind her bangs and supporting a sullen expression. However, as her power grew, so did her confidence as now she struts around with a gleeful smile, even when proceeding into combat. Kinoko has garnered a love of mushrooms, which has no doubt stemmed from her quirk, Mushroom. I mean, come on, what were you expecting? Mushroom grants its user the ability to generate and spread out special fungi spores from their body. Upon making contact with a solid surface, whether it's the ground, a wall, or even a person's body, the spores quickly develop into fully grown mushrooms of the user's choosing. Kinoko's love of mushrooms is not only shown by her costume, but also by her love of making mushroom-based puns as she uses her ability. I guess you could say she's a pretty fun guy. That joke doesn't even make sense! Shut up! Following Madame Mushroom, we have Medusa's long-lost sister, Ibara Shiyazaki. Hero name, Vine. 
You may all remember Ibera as the gentle soul who utterly destroyed Kaminari in the sports festival tournament. She went straight up judgement day on his ass. Ibera is a graceful and soft spoken person who seems to be of a highly religious inclination. She often makes remarks about heaven and divine beings while brandishing things like lying or cheating as sinful. Her religious nature can also be seen with her super moves, fate shield and crucifixion. Dear. God, she is hardcore. Ibra's quirk is called vines, and it grants her the ability to control hair like vines that grow on her head, for which she can lengthen and manipulate at will. Ibra placed fourth overall in the UA entrance exam, meaning that she scored the highest in the exam out of everyone in class 1B. Fun fact, Ibra was originally planned to be in class 1A, but for whatever reason, Horikoshi decided she would be better off in 1B. Could have had another best girl. Coming in after the holy handmaiden, we have the big burly beast himself, Jurata Shishida. Hero name, Jevadon. Jurata is a tall young man with a beastly appearance, but don't let that fool you as Jurata is actually a very well-mannered and highly intellectual person, being raised with a loving and well-mannered family. When he activates his quirk beast, however, it's an entirely different story. The quirk beast does exactly what you're probably thinking. It allows the user to grow into a massive, ferocious furry beast, giving the user enhanced strength, speed, and senses. Although, it does come at the cost of the user's intellect, making them more rash and reckless. Jurita's appearance, personality, and quirk seem to be modeled directly after Hank McCoy from the X-Men series, or as he's more commonly known as, Beast. I mean, come on, Horikoshi, you weren't even trying to hide this one. If you're wondering where the name Jevadon comes from, well, it could be a reference to the Beast of Jevadon, which was a man-eating beast rumored to lurk around a French province of Jevadon. It's also a very fitting fancy name for a hero who comes from a well-off family. Coming in after Beast Boy, we have the small powerhouse Nirengeki Shoda. Hero name, Mai. You might remember Shoda as the person who gave up his spot in the sports festival tournament after feeling unworthy of the position due to being mind controlled by Shinzo. But behind his small rotund exterior, Shoda is packing some serious power. But not only that, he also has some great leadership skills as he is actually the class vice representative of class 1B. Shoda is very humble in nature and always gives people the credit they deserve. And surprisingly, he is actually noted for being good friends with class 1A's class rep, Tenya Ida. In fact, like Ibera, Shoda was originally planned to be a part of Class 1A. Let me know in the comments below if you would replace anyone in Class 1A with either Ibera or Shoda and let me know why. But anyway, Shoda's quirk is called Twin Impact, and it allows Shoda to strike a target and make the point of contact experience a second more devastating impact at will. Basically, if he hits something, he can cause it to be hit again, but stronger. Which makes me question why he called himself Mines and not Double Tap. Double Tap is way cooler. Now next up is everyone's favorite foreign exchange student, Pony Sunatori. Hero name, Rockety. Pony is most recognizable for her big circular eyes and her long blonde hair. Oh, and her horns, hooves, and tail. That's right, Class 1B has its very own horse lady. Pony is a foreign exchange student from America. She is initially seen to be naive and innocent as Monoma tricks her into saying mean words to Class 1A. However, as she has grown and trained, she's become more competent in both understanding her surroundings and the Japanese language. However, when Pony gets angry, she reverts back to speaking her native tongue of English. Pony has a love for anime and manga and has has actually set up an anime viewing in their dorms. That's right ladies and gentlemen, Pony is a motherfucking weeb. Pony's quirk is called Horn Cannon and it allows Pony to detach and launch her horns like projectiles and take control of them similar to how Hawks controls his fetters. Upon firing her horns, a new pair grows back on her head almost instantaneously, allowing her to fire multiple sets in quick succession. However, she can only control the trajectory and movement of four of them at any one time. Fun fact, Pony is the oldest member of Class 1B, being born on the 21st of April and coming in at the age of 16. That's right, she's still underage. Keep it in your pants, you damn monsters. Following the crazy horse lady, we have the blowback bad boy, Kosei Suburaba. Hero name, 
Eret. I mean, Eris. According to Horikoshi in Kosei's character profile, Kosei is considered one of the four common sense kings of Class 1B. He's not the type of person to take charge or the initiative, but is a valuable ally to have as support. Kosei himself is very enthusiastic and a competitive person, holding himself to a high standard as he wants to remain ahead of all of his rivals. He also has no problem with taunting any opponent he has the upper hand on, as can be seen when he openly mocks Bakugo during the cavalry battle. But we all know how that turned out. Kosei's quirk is called Solid Air, and it allows him to solidify air through his breath. The strength of the solidified air is entirely dependent on Kosei's lung capacity. The more air he breathes in, the stronger the air he breathes out. Okay, but seriously, how did this guy get into UA? He literally blows. After Kosei, we have the fan favorite, the showstopper, Iron Man himself, Tetsu 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 Tetsu. Hero name? Real Steel. Now if you've seen or read even up to season 2 of My Hero Academia, you know exactly who this ironclad warrior is. Tetsu Tetsu is the backbone of Class 1B. He is fierce, ferocious, extremely hot-headed, and outspoken. He is unafraid to openly declare his emotions, whether it's a declaration of friendship or a declaration of war. Tetsu Tetsu strives in straightforward combat. Guided by his stubbornness, he always prefers to take a head-on approach to any situation, seeing it as the simplest solution to any problem. While this may seem foolish, his brash tendencies are complemented well by his unwavering spirit and his unrelenting tenacity with Tetsu Tetsu proving himself a formidable foe to even the most experienced of fighters. In the UA entrance exam, Tetsu Tetsu placed 8 overall. While Tetsu Tetsu initially despised Class 1A, believing that they saw themselves as Class 1B superiors, after the sports festival, he formed a strong bond with his Class 1A counterpart, Eijiro Kirishima. So manly! It is often a joking point in the series how similar these two characters are, with them constantly sharing the same spotlight throughout the entirety of the sports festival and with them having almost identical personalities and quirks. Kirishima's quirk being hardening which allows him to harden his skin and Tetsu Tetsu's quirk being steel which turns his skin into a hardened steel like substance. I also want to point out the absolute struggle of typing the name Tetsu Tetsu while writing this script. Every time I instinctively write Testu Testu and let's just say that would be a whole different ball game. After Testu, shit, we have the girl who is all over the place, Setsuna Tokage. Hero name, Lizardy. Now Setsuna is actually one of the two students in Class 1B to get into UA through recommendation. Personality wise, Setsuna is noted for being very chatty, confident and a great leader, with her fellow classmates having full faith in her decision making showing no signs of hesitation or doubt. Setsuna's quirk is called Lizard Tail Splitter and this ability allows her to split her body up into multiple pieces and control them telekinetically. Setsuna can currently split her body up to a maximum of 50 different pieces, depending on their size. And if one of those pieces contains an organ, that organ maintains its normal functionality. E.g. if she splits off a chunk of her face containing her eye, she can still see through that eye as normal. Also, if any of her body parts get destroyed while they are separated, Setsuna can regenerate them back. However, there is a limitation on this regeneration and also on how long her body parts can remain separated. Also, a fun fact about Setsuna, she likes dinosaurs. That's it. Coming in after Setsuna, we have a classic comic book hero, Manga Fukidashi. Hero name, Comic Man. And as you'd expect with a name like that, Manga is a comic man, with his head being a literal speech bubble from a comic book. Manga could be considered Class 1B's counterpart to Class 1A's Koji Koda, as they both possess a quirk that is reliant on speech. Koda's being Anna Voice, the ability to command animals with his voice, and Manga's being comic, which grants him the ability to materialize onomatopoeia into the world in the form of giant letters, which manifest with the same effects their sound is based on. Unlike Koda, however, Manga is far more expressive and dramatic than his 1A reflection. 
showing a lot more enthusiasm when it comes to battles and competitions. Manga is also good friends with Pony as they share a common love of manga, the actual comics, not the character, and anime. I wonder if Manga is a very secretive person, or if you could read him like a book. Delete your channel. Oh, come on, that one was good. Next up, we have the soft and flexible Juzo Honanuki. Hero name, Mudman. Juzo is actually the other student of class 1B to get into UA on recommendation. Juzo is most recognizable by his pale skin and his skull-like face. Wait, aren't all faces technically skull-like? He doesn't got lips. Despite these strange looking features, however, Juzo is still considered very handsome in the My Hero world. As for his personality, Juzo hates losing. However, like the rest of class 1B, he doesn't feel bad about letting others receive what they deserve and giving credit where credit is due. When it comes to combat, Juzo is extremely calm and collected, seemingly always maintaining a level-headed mentality even when things aren't going his way. He is also self-aware enough to know when he can't win a fight, and will change his strategy accordingly to give himself and his teammates the upper hand. Juzo's quirk is called softening, and it allows him to soften any non-living surface he touches, turning solid objects semi-liquid. Juzo himself can plunge into these semi-liquids and swim through them as if they were made of water. According to the My Hero Academia Ultra Analysis Handbook, Juzo has overall the best stats out of all of Class 1B, officially making him 1B's best boy. And after Juzo, we have the always held together Kojiro Bondo. Hero name, Plamo. Kojiro is also very similar to Class 1A's Koji Koda, but rather than in terms of quirk, he's more in line with Koda's personality. Despite Despite his large and threatening physique, he is actually very quiet and shy, often stammering and stuttering when trying to communicate with his fellow classmates. Another gentle giant. But despite this, he still maintains a good relationship with every member of his class, even the stoic Yui. Kojiro is most recognizable by his yellow skin and his head which is shaped like a glue dispenser. I mean, come on, it's kind of hard to miss. However, his strangely shaped head is actually the result of a quirk which is called Semedi. This quirk grants Kojiro the ability to spray a glue-like liquid from the holes in his head. Kojiro himself chooses how long it takes for the glue to harden, giving him a bit more versatility. Kojiro's quirk is actually named after a popular adhesive which is sold in Japan. And coming in after Kojiro, we have the king of class 1B himself, the bane of everything that is class 1A, and the receiver of the kendo backhand, Nato Manama. Hero name, the Phantom Thief. God, that's such a good name. I mean, come on, do I even have to explain Monoma? Monoma is the arrogant, cocky mouthpiece of Class 1B that will take any opportunity he can to gain 1-up on Class 1A, even if it comes at the cost of his own expense. Now who do we have here? Five members of Class A bomb the exams? And look, there's only one guy from Class B! You, you must failed be so too, idiots! Monoma's superiority complex when it comes to Class 1A is so intense that he will boast even about the most minute details if it makes Class 1A look bad. Although, his obsessive taunting and mockery of Class 1A has resulted in many characters making comments on the instability of his mental state and has forced the more mature students to step in before Monoma gets out of line, usually resulting in them knocking Monoma out. However, the purpose of these insults is not just an act of jealousy on Monoma's part, but actually the primary goal of these insults is to boost the morale of his own class. When it comes to class 1B, Monoma is supportive, kind, and proud. He never denounces any of his classmates for their mistakes, but rather encourages them to work on being better. This caring nature actually stems from Monoma's own belief that his quirk copy, which allows Monoma to duplicate and make use of another person's quirk for 10 minutes after making contact with them, is not powerful enough to make him a main character. But he doesn't resent his power as he says that his limitations force him to perform so brilliantly that even as a side character he can upstage the main characters. Man, that's actually quite inspiring. Wait a minute, is Monoma the secret main character of my hero? And after the king of class 1B, we have the slightly terrifying Reiko Yanagi. Hero name? Emily. Yep, that's what she chose as her hero name. 
Reiko, like her fellow classmate Yui, is noted for being extremely quiet and almost emotionless. However, her most notable features are her grey hair, pale skin, and odd posture. Reiko is generally seen posing with her elbows tucked right into her sides and her hands draping down, akin to the posture of a zombie. Now her ghastly visage and zombie inspired posture isn't the only horror related thing about Reiko as her quirk is literally called Poltergeist. This ability allows Reiko to telekinetically control nearby objects with the maximum weight of an object she can control being that of an average human. And finally, we have the last member of class 1B, who is is in fact another foreign student, Hear You Rin. Hero name? Dragon Shroud. Another 10 out of 10 name. Hear You is actually from China. He moved to Japan alongside his family when he was in elementary school. Hear You is noted for being a good team player and for his diligent work on his academics and understanding quirks and their abilities. Hear You's quirk is called Scales, and it allows him to form hard scales throughout his entire body, which he can either use as a protective armor or to fire off as projectiles. But the most notable thing I have found about Hear You is that under his stats section in the Ultra Analysis Handbook, he has been given a whopping 5 out of 6 in Chineseness. And that, ladies and gentlemen, and those of an unspecified gender, is everything you need to know about Class 1B, from their personalities to their quirks. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and let me know who your favorite member of Class 1B is below. Again, don't forget to subscribe to the Lunchtime Crew. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Plus Ultra!